morning class. Today we are going to learn about where our food comes from. Last several days we have read our books on agriculture. We have read our books about the soil, farm animals, and today we are going to assess just what we have learned. We are going to do a project. Today we are going to build a hamburger. I need everyone to take out their science journal, please. Our hamburgers are going to be made out of construction paper. We are going to put it on the assessment paper I give you. This is going to be your assessment. You're going to label your hamburger in the order in which it is made. I'm going to start you off with your bun and show you exactly what I expect. You will follow the instructions and make the rest of the hamburger on your own. Put some sesame seed bun on there. There we go. My bun consists of, first of all, the soil. Then it needs a seed, which will become wheat. Which then will become the bun itself. Because we have a bottom bun. So, you are going to build a hamburger for me. You want lettuce, tomatoes, hamburger. You are going to break it down and tell me exactly what comes first. How do we get our food to the table? Once you've done this, the kids, or the students, I should say, if you feel you need to be challenged, let's do this. Tell me what your condiments What are they made of? Your mayonnaise, your ketchup, your mustard. These are all your extra credit challenge words. I want it done the same way as we're doing this. But tell me what's in your mayonnaise. How did we get there? These are all foods that's going on our tables. The children that cannot, or let's say just don't feel that you guys can write me this out, you can come tell me verbally. Make, draw me a picture. Draw me a picture. And then tell me verbally about how you made your hamburger. Okay, that's an option. So we got one option. You can draw and tell me. You can do the assessment, which is a worksheet. And then we have this over here for extra. I will assign two extra credit points for you if you try. Now, if you break it down and you have all three correct, that's 50 points on your assessment. All together, if you do the assessment, will be 200 and 50 points. Now, you can 
I asked you to take out your journals. Your journal will have all your information. Remember, last two days we have read the book, we have watched the video. I want you to get out your pencils. You have 35 minutes. Good luck.